Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chris the Country Cottage Gardener. Welcome you back to another video. This is a beautiful property here, absolutely stunning. Sadly some of the beds have actually been let go um, over the last few months and um, I'm here to try and bring them back to their former glory. As you can see from this bed here, uh, the, the previous gardeners had an attempt to try and fill the beds out a bit with wildflower seeds. Personally, I love wildflower seeds and I think you should be encouraged, but they have a certain, they need to be in a, a certain area, they need to be used within a certain manner. And unfortunately, putting them in and amongst beds like this hasn't really worked. And if anything, it's made them look worse because they're a lot weedier. There's plenty of other areas around the garden here, as you'll see later on, where these seeds could have been better used. But um, what I'm doing is I'm stripping back the beds a little bit refinding some of those hidden shrubs and beautiful things and then we're going to have a little look into next year of filling these beds out there's plenty around within the other beds within the gardens here so we can take from peter and pay paul in other ways and fill these beds out for smaller amounts of money because there's lots of the acamachilla mollis and there's lots of things like the uh, geranium rosanna so lots of these plants which are actually quite prolific you know they they self-seed and spread on their own quite easily so anyway i'm going to start the video by saying a big thank you and um, introducing you to one a company that you might not have heard of but to some of their products as well and that's a, a company called japito they um japito are a japanese inspired tool manufacturer here in the uk it's a family run company i believe and I'm going to be honest, I have been using their shears, their hand shears on boxes and things like that for quite a while. I also have one of their Hori Hori knives. And I reached out to them and said, basically, <laughs> a bit cheeky really, I just, I, I'm a content creator and I really like your stuff. I like the price point as well. And would you be interested in me doing some features on your products? And they said yes. Here are a few products to try. So I've been using a few of them for quite a while now and I thought I'd do a video and bring you to them um, and give you my thoughts. So what we're going to first do is have a little look over the double-edged weeding hoe that I'm going to be showing you because it's ideal for beds like this and, and some actually surprising other jobs that I've found that it's been good for as well. But anyway, let's jump over to the tool, have a look at the job in question and then actually see it in action. So the first thing that I, I already knew this, because when I actually got to know the company, I'm just gonna sit myself down here on this bench. When I got to know this company, um, I met them at a showcase near me, a gardening show. And the first thing that happens when you get everything through the post from these guys, it comes really nicely presented. So this isn't just for, um, just for show for this this is how everything comes you know it comes in these really nice um canvas bags as you can see it's got filthy kicking around in my trunk and in the van but you know it's what comes of gardening tools eh? so this is the double-edged weeding hoe in question taking it out of the canvas bag you do get it in the um a little sheath if i'm honest this is more of a travel sort of thing maybe to stop it going through the bag when you're uh, having it in transit i don't think this is gonna actually it has already gone there so that's kind of a disposable thing but yeah still a nice touch got this beautiful wooden handle here 
Now, for those of you that don't know, I do a lot of crafting with wood myself, and this just looks like a, a soft wood handle, but it's kind of got like this shoshuka bang sort of finish to it, which is the Japanese art of burning wood, and it makes the, the grain pop. And it's kind of got this nice varnished, lacquered finish to it. Really nice. So, gonna have a look at the, the business end here, and we've got the tang coming down at this beautiful angle and by the looks of it the tang is the is what's called this bit of metal down here you know it's what goes into the handle so I would imagine I don't know I would imagine it comes down to at least this point here and we've got the single rivet that goes through really nice collar on there as well really nice little snug snug fit all the welding is really pretty neat on there sometimes you get some tools and they look quite gnarly but that looks really really nice and neat so we've got the double-edged hose so we've got the, the double blades around each side and this does go down to a I wouldn't it's not going to cut your skin finish you wouldn't want that for working in soil anyway you've got this beautiful little finish here the edge on there as well so overall length is about 260 I think it's 265 millimeters I think the the whole thing in in total which to be honest is really good as you'll see later on it can help you get to the back a little bit further without stretching too much and if anything having a longer handle actually does balance the tool out not that the tool's very heavy at all you know it's not like um, a really big uh, cumbersome sort of some of the uh, wolf garden bits that I've got I know if anybody's been following the channel for a long time knows that I do like my wolf garden bits but they do seem to be quite big and clunky where this is a little bit more a bit more dexterity to it but anyway let's crack on with some work see that the ground is super dry I mean we haven't we're going for a mini heat wave I'm gonna say inverted commas heat wave at the moment because it's summer you know as soon as we have a bit of heat and it's the uh, the news clamps onto it and suddenly we're having heat wave and it's something extraordinary but who would expect heat in summer anyway hey anyway let's just have a little look at the the wheelbarrow so far and examine some of the um, the weeds that come out just to show how See, with, with a normal hoe, let's, let's have a look, see if I've got one in my truck here. Yeah, yeah, so with the traditional wolf garden hoe, you're going through and you are, you know, cutting out underneath the weeds or you're cutting them off and so on and so forth. So it's a similar action, if not the same, with this. I mean, it is good that you've got that dexterity to go from there to you know dig weeds out or scrape it that way I also found with this back edge here it's very good for defining lawn edging so anyway let's have a little look at the weeds in question so we've got grass there which has all come out with the roots that seems to be similar sort of situation with with all of these so we're not we don't seem to be cutting off we have got some big chunks of mud in here as well, but we can put this down to cause it being so dry. So, so far we can say pretty much it's, pretty much everything has got roots attached to it, which is good.
Oh well, <clears throat> it's been really warm. It is still really warm, but I did find a good way of cooling myself down. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up there. I've done lots of weeding today. I've uh, worked my way all through these beds here, and um, I can hear people probably crying out to the to the camera saying it's you know taking out all of these poppies and everything and there's some primulas and things like that and I'm confident a lot of these things will come back because they they, they self-seed so prolifically but I'll stand by that they're not appropriate for these types of beds they just look really untidy and uh, there's plenty of space for them back in the woodlands and the the beds surrounding but anyway I'm gonna finish up and uh, just give my final thoughts on this I am going to start by saying that I approached this company and asked them if I could review some of their products and they sent it with me without any uh, there wasn't any sort of guidelines to it there's nothing saying we want to review your footage before we want you to only talk about X Y and Z they just said sure and within a few messages they had sent me this stuff out so for me if a company has got that much um, faith in their own products, that speaks volumes for me straight off. You know, they're not saying you've got to do this. This isn't a video. These aren't videos that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be making them any money out of. I'm going to put links in the description to their website so you can purchase this if you want. But I don't get anything from it. The only thing that I'll make from the video is I get to keep this, which I'm really pleased about because it's an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Um, and any ad revenue that comes through from YouTube. But anyway, let's give my final thoughts on it. Oh, as you can tell, I'm elated. I wish I'd found one of these double-edged hoes sooner. Um, I wish that I hadn't been so closed-minded when I go to, like, a garden centre or, um, you know, just looking at the normal things which are on the shelf like the Dutch hose and things. I can honestly say this is going to be in my toolkit and I can see me reaching for this more often than anything else. I've got a particular job on at the moment where I'm removing um, some uh, t creeping thyme from some old brickwork and such and I've been using my Hori Hori knife which is good and it's doing the job but this scraping along and getting in to the crevices between the brickwork with that point has absolutely been fantastic again i've also used this in the veg garden for doing small drills and other thing like potatoes and things like that as well as you've seen i've used it for cutting and taking off the embankment on edges and such so it's pretty versatile people will have a downside to this is that it's a short handled on your knees tool for me, I've got an extremely bad back at the moment. I've suffered with it for the last few weeks and I'm waiting for an appointment for a sports therapist. But that said, I prefer working on my knee rather than with a long handled item anyway, especially when I'm doing bed work like this. You can get in amongst the shrubs, you can get underneath, you can get, you've got a lot more dexterity for working in and amongst the beds when you're down on your hands and knees and getting in and amongst everything. And you can also be a lot more selective. Plus, if you can, uh, if you've got a weed that you want to get into, you can get in and underneath it pretty well. This leads me down to another point, um, tap rooted weeds, as you can see just there, you can get them out, but it's not as good as if you were to get a trowel or a fork in on them. It depends on how lucky you are. I mean, you can keep digging and trying to find that other bit of the tap and get rid of it. Um, but, you know, that's very small, small things. There's uh, one that's already died. And as you can see there, you're taking out chunks. You can easily switch it around to the side. You even do it subconsciously takes such little effort but anyway without too much waffling because there's only so much you can say about a certain tool like this um i'll thank you very much for their generosity i hope you've enjoyed this video and if it's a, a uh, it might be a tool that you might consider for using within the your gardening uh, for me i'm 
I'm elated with it. Oh, just on a little side note, the Hori Hori Deluxe knife I've got. Um, oh, that is a bit sharper than you think. Uh, the Hori Hori knife that um, they've sent me, the Deluxe one, because I've been using one of the Hori Horis for a while anyway. The Deluxe one has got a nice, um, yeah, it's kind of etched name on it. This is just the sticker. Um, it's already starting to come off, but that's just an aesthetics thing. But personally, I would have liked to have seen something on there, but maybe a branded, maybe a burnt in branding iron on there to keep in with the Shoshi Shebang style that they've finished, they've got on the handle, that'd be quite nice. But anyway, that's an aesthetics thing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll try and answer them. And again, thank you very much to you guys. Your generosity is very much appreciated. And uh, we'll catch up again soon. Cheers.